Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Annalisa and today I'm going to be going to be working on some clay earrings and pendants and I'm also going to show you a bit of an art haul because I just went to Hobby Lobby and got a bunch of stuff um, half off on sale so I'm happy with that. Mostly what I've got are a bunch of molds for my resin, but I'm also going to use them with clay and see how that works out. So that should be very interesting. These are uh, gummy bears, but I think I could also use them as just regular teddy bear um, molds. So that looks really cool. Then uh, a bunch of earrings uh, molds that are meant to be used to put on posts. So they have little post backs. Uh, that come with a set but I'll be able to buy more of those and make as many as I want so that's exciting um, they look really cute <laughs> I really like these ideas and I've been wanting to make more post earrings so um, hopefully that'll be a lot of fun I've got butterflies bows hearts keys um, and then we have a whole bunch of gears and some screws and stuff and I <laughs> really like those I find them really aesthetically pleasing especially if I can like make several of them and like stack them together and make that all one pendant or um, earring that should be really fun or I could um, make them in a certain darker color and then make them be like inclusions in a larger resin thing that's clear um, that would be really cool too and then I got some dried flowers I mostly dry my own flowers but it's hard to find itty bitty flowers that are in their completeness um, like these because most flowers have much bigger petals and so I just use individual petals that aren't shaped like flowers. And I want to try out using full flowers and see how I like the look of those. Hopefully this spring there will be some good weeds that have tiny flowers on them and I'll be able to dry those and use them. Uh, these were also on sale, so I decided to grab them because they have unicorns in them, pink and uh, ripe unicorns that are beads, and I thought that if I put them in sideways in a resin something, um, they would look really cute and that would like, really add something that I could do like a, a unicorn prancing on a field with blue glitter behind for a sky and green glitter for grass, and that might be cute. There are also... Um, rainbows so I could either leave those white and pink or I could actually paint those different colors so that might be fun too and the last thing I got was the only thing that wasn't on sale this week and they are um, just some tiny little cutouts that I'm going to use to make clay shapes so uh, we'll get to see right away <laughs> whether those work well or not but I think they're really cute and I think I could use these to make stud sized earrings as well but since they're clay I can also just poke a little wire through them and make them into dangly earrings as well.
So these are the finished earrings. A couple of pieces ended up breaking because clay in its dry form can be quite fragile. Um, so they didn't make it to the painting process. So I've got various plans for making thicker ones and various ways to be careful with it for next time. Um, but I think the ones that turned out are quite cute. We've got little caterpillars and leaves and fall leaves and little stars. These ones are posts. And, uh, I really like the teddy bears. <laughs> They're super adorable. I'm thinking of making, like, pink ones and blue ones and all sorts of fun colors. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!